Hi everyone, I hope all is well. My name is Ashanti and welcome to Uniquely Ashanti's Corner. So, I previously posted some videos about the use of curse words some time ago and if you have not seen them, then I will post the link for those videos for you to check out at a later time, you know, after this video or whenever you can. And so, um, since I covered that topic, I figured another thing that should be addressed is a person swearing. Many people today are heard saying, I swear this, I swear that, I swear on my grandmother's grave, I pinky swear. You even have people in courtrooms who will have someone place their hand on the Holy Bible and swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And there are many people who swear by God's holy name. But have any of you stopped to ask yourself if this is really okay for people to do. Is this something that God would approve of? And the best way to answer this question is to turn to the Bible. And there are some verses that I want to direct your attention to, and these are all coming from the King James Version of the Bible. In Matthew chapter 5, verses 34 through 37, it says, But I say unto you, swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king, neither shalt thou swear by thy head, because thou canst not make one hair white or black. But let your communication be yea, yea, nay, nay, for whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. And you see this being mentioned again in James Chapter 5, verse 12, which says, But above all things, my brethren, swear not, neither by heaven, neither by the earth, neither by any other oath, but let your yea be yea, and your nay, nay, lest ye fall into condemnation. These verses right here clearly show you that God doesn't want us to swear. In our society, people want you to believe that in order to convince someone that you didn't do something or reassuring someone that you can keep a secret, you have to swear, even if it means that you got to bring God into the picture. Instead of saying, I swear, why can't you just say, I promise? And you know what? There's one thing that my father has told me and instructed me to never forget if I ever find myself in a courtroom. If someone were to ask if I swear to hold to tell the whole truth, I'm sorry. I don't have to say, I swear. Instead, I can say, I affirm. I don't care what anyone tells you. If you don't wanna say, I swear, you can say, I affirm. You do have that option. We have to be careful about certain phrases that we use in our society. On the surface, it may seem like that it's innocent at first, but that's why it's so important to make sure you understand what God says in his word. We can easily get wrapped up in the fact that everyone around us is saying, I swear, or some other type of phrase. But we cannot allow ourselves to do that. Just because everyone is doing a particular action doesn't always mean that they're doing the right thing. And this is not to say that the Christians who say, I swear, are all fake Christians or anything like that. Not at all. Some Christians are just not aware of what they're doing and it's up to us to bring it to their attention so they can be more careful about their choice of words in the future. And I know that I can personally relate to this myself. When I was very, very young, I remember my mom accused me of doing something that I didn't do. I can't remember exactly what she accused me of, but that's not important. But anyway, since I heard people saying it a lot on TV, especially on the PBS show Arthur, you know, that animated show with the aardvark. Does anybody know what show I'm talking about? I don't know. Anyway, you can Google it. Anyway, I thought that the best way to convince my mom that I was telling the truth was to say, I swear I didn't do this. And I remember my mom automatically interrupted me in my tracks and told me that it's not good to say that and explain to me that God forbids it. And once I realized that, I never, ever, ever did it again. God knows I didn't know what I was doing. It was a mistake I made, but the important thing is that I quickly corrected it. And another thing to keep in mind is that it's important for you to remember that God says in his word that his name should not be taken in vain. 
So when you decide to swear by his name, you're doing just that, whether you believe it or not. If you're trying to allow Christ into your life more, swearing is one of the things that you seriously need to stop doing. So that's all I wanted to say. This is a pretty short video this time around, but I really wanted to share this thought of the day with you. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope that this video gave you something to think about. Please share this video with uh, others that you feel need to hear it, and if you decide to leave a comment, please refrain from profane language, even if it's an abbreviation, and please be respectful. God bless, and have a great day. Bye.